this is the, uh, the third year of a three-year project that has had us looking intensively at the end of this glacier. Um, and we've learned a whole bunch of different things about it. One of the most dramatic things that we've learned about it is that the calving events are, have a huge amount of energy that is released during them. Um, I th think the um, most spectacular thing we saw this year, um, actually in this last two weeks, was on uh, July 13th at about 3 in the morning, they're just the front of the glacier just started roaring and you could just hear a, a dull roaring in the background and it's a very big front of a glacier so the glacier starts, the, the end of the glacier on the near side of the fjord is, is only a kilometer from our camp but the far side is five kilometers away, it's more than three miles and you hear all of this ice just roaring and it's just little, it looks like little avalanching chunks of ice coming off the front and it looks little, but it's falling this three or four hundred feet into the water. Um, two of us got out of our tents to, to start filming it, and then the third, the third guy has his tent in a better place that's not so windy, but he wasn't hearing it. So I walked back to his tent and woke him up, and then as I came back up over the hill, there was just this, this iceberg sticking a thousand feet out. It was on the far side of the valley. the half of the front of the glacier was just standing up word in over the next minute or two it rolled over and on the bottom of it was this bright blue ice which is very different ice than the rest of the glacier um, that it comes from down very deep and it had it also had on the bottom of that some dirt so we know that it's bringing up dirt from the bottom that the glacier is is in the process of wearing away at the rock and making the fjord even deeper than it is um, and that those events are really spectacular to see for us um, they move all of the ice in, in the fjord, all this sort of ice choke. It's like a big slushy. All this ice just gets pushed down the fjord when one of these things happens by half a mile in about 15 minutes.